Hello, my name is John Spierko, and I'm an advisory solution consultant for ServiceNow. I'm also the founder and manager of a work group with over 250 public sector technology practitioners that support and deliver digital services. Every government CIO priority is related to the brokering of digital services in some way. Digitizing has become even more important as the rush to kill paper processes has only accelerated with the coming of COVID-19. Consolidation is often seen as one of the quickest ways to meet difficult budgetary constraints. And Cloud First continues to be a trend as state and local municipalities look to get out of the business of data centers. The list goes on, but there are limits to what a CIO can do. According to GovTech, the United States will spend $111 billion on state and local government technology in 2020. The states get 51% of those dollars, while the cities, counties, and special districts split the remaining 49%. The details of the allocations vary, as you can see on the right. Staffing is always a big one. Let's take a closer look at this number. First, we divide by the number of U.S. citizens. This shows the state and local government technology spend costs $336.20 per citizen. If you multiply that by 51%, you get the state per citizen spend. Multiply it by 24.5% gives you the county, the city, and special district spend. We multiply these numbers to calculate the approximate technology spend of cities like Denver, counties like Riverside, California, or states like Maryland. We've run these numbers and they're very close. We've estimated a county at $201 million. Their actual was $210 million. We also estimated a state and our number was $171 million. And they later told us they were just a little bit higher at $177 million. Keep in mind, these are estimates of total technology spend. This is not the budget that we see CIOs getting. CIOs generally get about half of that. 100% of the CIO's job is to figure out how to provide world-class digital services. Like the list of the 50 that are shown on the screen. Consumers of these services range from citizens to employees and even leaders of the municipalities. Many municipalities have their digital services rolled up into portfolios like the one shown here and this helps with things like governance and functional area leadership. We know that the CIO for the state of Maryland allocates 100% of their $994 million to deliver these types of services. The challenge is figuring out how to allocate this budget, and even more importantly, how to know if the investments we're making are good ones. Fortunately, this is what ServiceNow does at its core. It is a platform that provides a mean to deliver and support digital services. This is where your mission as government CIOs meets ServiceNow's mission as the world's leading digital service platform. This is how you realize the true benefits of CIO as broker. With CIO as broker, imperatives change from many to just two. Support and delivery of services, period. Strategic initiatives are to align on services and drive down costs on the support side so that you could be more aggressive on the delivery side. The result is an organization with an entrepreneurial spirit that outperforms traditional IT in every way. When we continue this conversation, we'll align the ServiceNow platform services that make this all possible, accompanied by a plan that will map it out in a journey over time. We would appreciate the opportunity to connect with you and review ServiceNow CIO as Broker Solution in more detail. Thank you very much.